China claims it launched a stable magnetic field more than a million times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. Their hybrid magnet attained a steady magnetic field of 45.22 Tesla, more than a million times stronger than that of the Earth. Since 1999, the record for a steady magnetic field of 45 Tesla has been held by the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory, that's called MagLab for short, it's in Florida and the U.S. Scientists in China claim to have broken a world record after their hybrid magnet attained a steady magnetic field of 45.22 Tesla, more than a million times stronger than that of the Earth. On August 12th, South China Morning Post, Post reports, the achievement was made at the Chinese Academy of Sciences Steady High Magnetic Field Laboratory, SHMFF, with the research team writing on their website, quote, the Hi-Fi facility has become the highest steady state magnetic field that can support scientific research in the world. The laboratory statement also referred to the previous record of 45 Tesla, dating to 1999, achieved by a 35-ton instrument at Megalab, funded by the National Science Foundation and the state of Florida and the U.S., the statement said, the original world record was created by the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory in the United States in 1999. Its hybrid magnet generated 450,000 Gauss, or 45 Tesla, and it has held the record for 23 years. In fact, researchers at the U.S. facility also briefly achieved a 45.5 Tesla field in 2019, but it was a trial run on a test magnet which was not going to be used for scientific experiments. Major technological breakthrough. The magnet at SHMFF of China, similar to the one at MagLab in Florida, is known as a hybrid magnet. Its resistive insert is contained inside a superconducting exterior with a bore of 32 millimeters. China's SHMFF MFF's scientific team originally constructed the hybrid magnet in 2016. At the time, it generated a central magnetic field of 40 Tesla. The scientists persisted in an attempt to achieve a higher magnetic field, and to do this, they innovated the structure of the magnet while developing new materials and optimizing the manufacturing process of the bitter disks. It's a type of electromagnetic, electromagnet invented in 1933 by American physicist Francis Bitter, explained physicist Guangli Kuang, an academic director of the High Magnetic Field Laboratory of the Hafei Institutes of Physical Science. The team at the Chinese Academy of Science uses an input of 26.9 megawatts to achieve their 45.22 Tesla breakthrough, whereas the 45 Tesla magnet at MagLab required an input of 30 megawatts. So China uses less. The, result, the research has been hailed by the scientists as opening up new opportunities in research. The hybrid magnet of the National Study, Steady State High Magnitude Field Experiment Laboratory of China produced the world's chi highest steady state magnetic field, which effectively improves the experimental conditions for scientists to carry out material science research and will play an indispensable role in the research of low power electronic materials and other fields, the team said. This is on bended reality. Now, I'd like to know where they get all this energy from. You know, all these scientists, what about, you know, the CERN, amount of energy CERN uses and the, all, the, all the money spent on that? But, uh, you know, we as uh, the plebs of the earth uh, are told to, st you know, pay for the energy that we use in extraordinary amounts. We don't know where that is going to end up. And, um, and yet again, we don't know what this uh, magnetic field that is 45, over 45 times uh, uh, more than a million times stronger than that of the Earth is going to be used for. Why do they have to do things like that? They're using up tremendous amounts of energy. I have no idea. They don't claim why they have to use uh, all this energy to make all these million times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. Uh, please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account.
The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.